Hampshire Department of Justice, Office of the Attorney General. If you wish to reach the Consumer Protection Bureau, please wait while we connect you. Good afternoon, Attorney General's Office. Yes, I am from the media. Can I speak with the, the Attorney General or one of his deputies? In reference to what, sir? Uh, regarding a, an investigation I'm doing out of Keene, New Hampshire, I'm, I'm interested in speaking to someone about evidence of the, uh, that the state law applies to people in Keene. State law applies to people in Keene. As far as evidence goes, is that your question? Yeah, evidence that the state law applies. To... Your name? Mark. Your last name, Mark? S Stevens. Just a moment. Hello, this is Sue McGinnis. Can I help you? Uh, it was Sue McGinnis? Yes. Ma'am, I'm looking to speak with either the Attorney General or one of the deputies regarding evidence that state law applies to people. I'm an assistant, a senior assistant Attorney General. Senior assistant. Well, I'm, I do a radio show, and I'd like to be able to ask you or someone else some questions that I could be able to yeah, use your comments on the air. Um, well, the... There's one attorney general and one deputy attorney general, and I don't know that they would do that, and we normally do not give interviews except in our own cases. So, Well, what about just in a general sense? What evidence would you use if I'm standing in Keene, New Hampshire? What evidence would you use to show that the, the laws of the state of New Hampshire actually apply to me? You're in New Hampshire. Yeah, but what evidence would you have that the, 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 the Constitution and the laws of the state apply to me? Uh, that's too vague a question to answer. That it depends on facts and circumstances, and uh, we don't give legal advice here, and that, that's way too broad a question for me, anyone to answer here. Too broad? Well, if I'm standing a keen, and I'm not asking for legal advice, I'm asking for evidence that I'm not asking you to. Make you are in the state of New Hampshire. You are subject to New Hampshire's laws. What makes you believe that that's true? If I'm standing on the street in Keene, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do. I'm not doing this. I'm not gonna give you uh, that. That would require. That's commonly known that the laws of the state apply to act people who are within the state. If you're asking one of these um, legal questions that some of the free staters and other people are raising about the authority of the state government and the like, I could not possibly answer that question for you. I'm not a free stater, and I didn't ask that. If it's commonly known, then if, if, if it's commonly known that the laws apply to everybody, then just tell me what specific facts would you used to prove that they that it you know that it does apply i have no idea sir i'd have that would require legal research it's just they the way the laws are if you're in arizona the arizona laws apply to you if you're in california california lies laws apply to you yeah and i've asked prosecutors the state this has question personal before personal jurisdiction over the state has personal jurisdiction over people who are within the state's borders. So you, you're making a distinction between the state and, and the ground, because, it, you know, because I've, I've gone through this many times. I've asked, how does my physical location, let's say in Keene or Carroll, wherever it happens to be, or Concord, how does my physical location connect my physical location to the Constitution and laws? How, how, do they, how do they become binding on me or applicable to me just because of my physical location? That's a matter of personal jurisdiction. Yeah, but how... Under the law, a state has personal jurisdiction. The government of a state has personal jurisdiction are over persons who are in the territorial borders of that state. How does the government, which is just people like yourself, how do they? How do? They, how does the law become applicable to me, and then you, and then people like yourself, would then acquire jurisdiction over me just because of my physical location? I have no idea, sir. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to answer.